Alrighty, so Ubuntu 21.04 has finally been released, and they've actually released it for the Raspberry Pi 4 too. But on their website, they do have a desktop image, but that image only says it's it works for the Raspberry Pi 400 and CM4. But I don't have either of those, so I just downloaded it and flashed it to my Raspberry Pi 4, and it's worked totally fine. So I don't know what that's about because it totally works fine on my Raspberry Pi 4 8 gigabyte model. But so in this video, we're gonna be going over the new features and seeing is there any improvements over the last version because the last version was not very good at all the performance was bad and it would just eat up a lot of your ram and it wouldn't be a very nice experience but so let's see if they have done any improvements so to start out let's look and see what's new so first of all let's look at neofetch and see what we have here so let's have neofetch and right here we have Ubuntu 21.04, 64-bit, and my Raspberry Pi model. And then right here you see we are still running GNOME 3.38.4. We still do not have GNOME 40, which their GNOME 40 is going to be released in the next version of Ubuntu, which is going to be in like three to four months, I think. So sadly, we still are not going to see GNOME 40 in Ubuntu for a little while, which is kind of a bummer because GNOME 40 brings a lot of new, new awesome features but this one does not include it but everything else is pretty much the same we're using the yaru theme yaru icon theme and that is about it for this so there's not much change in here and now let's go through and see what they've done so they've added they made it like the dark theme on the bar used to is a little bit lighter and now it's all dark and we have some cool things right here like lock settings it's pretty much the same as a last release not much changed we do have this nice new wallpaper right here with the hippo which kind of looks cool and let's go over and go change background and see what other backgrounds they have pre-installed so right here we have we have a hippo right here so they're all basically hippos so we have that hippo right there and then if we go to this one right here here's more hippos so there's just a lot of hippos basically in the wallpapers and then we have the gray hippo i'm just going to be sticking to this normal one right here because that's the default one and i kind of like it but that is about it for the wallpaper and now let's go through the settings and basically see what we have so our wi-fi and then we have network bluetooth background which is the wallpaper appearance there you can change to dark mode standard or light so like light mode makes everything lighter standard just does it both and dark makes everything dark which i kind of like the dark theme it looks pretty nice icon size you can make everything bigger if you like i like it how it is notifications just the different notifications and if we go over here to about we can see what version of gnome we're running and that we're running 21.04 so the desktop version does use wayland as its windowing system but this one looks like it's using x11 and then our software updates i have our, there everything is up to date but that's about it for the settings manager and now to go through the app so on the bar right here we have firefox we have thunderbird mail we have files we have rhythm box LibreOffice writer ubuntu software and help so ubuntu software is basically the snap store there's really not much change in here it's not my favorite store honestly i just use terminal but that is about it for ubuntu software and show applications right here if we go up we have additional drivers calendar firefox files these are basically your main apps htop i actually install myself and then up here we have live patch remina software updates and to do transmission which is like a BitTorrent client and in utilities we actually have some cool apps that i thought were cool we have screenshot we have disk usage analyzer and then right here we have where is it it's a backup so you can actually make a backup of your system using this app i haven't tried it personally but it looks pretty cool that you can do it this easily you just go create my first backup and it's just going to save everything basically and you'll have that nice backup of your operating system so you might want to try that out because it does look pretty cool and then most of the apps were here last time too so there's not much change in the apps or the looks honestly because we're not getting gnome 40 so there's not a huge change in the appearance but there are a few changes like the icons on the desk right here 
on the desktop are a bit bigger and that is about it for the changes they've also added python 3.19 by default so if i type python 3 we see that we have python 3.914 as default before it was an old version of python but now we have a new version so now to talk about system resource usage have they made it better because the last version would use about one gig of ram on idle which is a lot of ram for the raspberry pi so let's type htop and right here we see our memory in idle is pretty high again it's again 1.2 gigabytes so it's about the same as last time and our cores are the same so they haven't done that much to reduce the ram usage because this is still running gnome and gnome is an incredibly heavy desktop environment and that is why we get a lot of ram and so it's still not the greatest of desktops to use as a raspberry pi but one thing they've done i don't know what it just feels a lot snappier to me like when i click applications it loads up almost automatically before there would be like that animation and it would be super slow now it just loads up faster so i do feel like my desktop is a bit snappier and it just feels a lot better but that is about it for the system resource usage there's not much this much to say because it's pretty normal 1.2 gigabytes as a last version of ubuntu not much not much change there now let's go ahead and look at some web browsing slash video playback. Let's use Firefox as our web browser and let's go over and see. So if we type just like a Raspberry Pi, it loads up pretty quickly. Web browsing is pretty smooth on here honestly when using Firefox. I can scroll down here and it works pretty darn good. Let's open up another tab, Amazon.com. I mean, this one's working too, this one's working. And let's see how much RAM we're using right now, just to get a idea. So two tabs are open in Firefox, and I'm, I'm using 1.75 gigabytes of RAM out of my eight gigabytes. So that is still a lot for just two tabs open and so yeah there is a lot of ram usage going on right here and now let's go look at some youtube video playback so let's just go over to youtube.com right here big buck bunny and let's see how the video playback actually performs is it any better than the last version or is it worse so right here and this is going to be a 720p video nothing more just 720. click that gear icon right there and let's make sure it's at 480 right now i'm going to up that to 720 and i'm going to go stats for nerds and so if you look right here we are we've dropped three out of 73 right now and then we're at 11. So I mean, it's not terrible, honestly. Last version of Ubuntu, I was experiencing much worse video playback than this. So it's pretty cool that it's a bit better. So I definitely do see some improvements in this version of Ubuntu over the last version. Definitely, I do. Let's skip to the middle right here. It has to load for a minute. And then it, it works. I mean, it's still not the greatest. The best YouTube playback on the Raspberry Pi I probably did get in Fido OS or some light dish, lightweight distro like Res Raspberry Pi OS, Manjaro, or something like that. Yeah, so YouTube playback, I mean, it's not the greatest on here, but it's not the worst. So, to talk about my final thoughts. There are definitely some improvements in this version of Ubuntu. Are there a ton? No. They have done some visual changes, not that many since they have not actually upgraded this to GNOME 40 at the moment, but it's still cool. They've done some cool changes and it does feel a bit snappier than the last version of Ubuntu. So I'd recommend checking this out on your Raspberry Pi, but would I recommend using this as a daily operating system? Probably not, because you can use some more lightweight distros on your Raspberry Pi where you're gonna get some better performance. But if you like this look and you enjoy it, then go ahead because it's not terrible, honestly. It is, it's pretty good. 
and yeah so this is ubuntu 21.04 running on my raspberry pi 4 so what do you think about it let me know down below in the comments and yeah thanks for watching